Well, my first memory of really being involved in a library was in fourth grade when I signed up to volunteer early hours, come to school early, and uh, stamp books, uh, check books back in. And uh, I don't know, I guess I loved reading, and I think I saw librarians as being very powerful people who got to be surrounded by all of these beautiful books. So my, my earliest memory is in, in fourth grade, volunteering, get to work behind the counter and use the stamp, which is super fun. Libraries definitely fostered a love of reading in me. I remember in the summertime playing the games, the contests where you would try to read more books than anybody else, and I always won. My uh, sister recently found a newspaper article about me winning the most books read from our local library. She said, oh, you were a gamer, you know, even then you were winning every game that you played. I, re I remember when I was at university, I went to Fordham College at Lincoln Center, and they built this beautiful new campus library, giant library on Rose Hill. I remember the first time I took our campus bus over there and got to come in. It was the first time I did original research where I was looking up academic articles and in academic journals and uh, I'd never I'd never even seen an academic journal before. I didn't know that there were journals full of people writing these incredibly smart things about about literary detective fiction, which is what I was researching at the time. I remember how proud I was finding all of these articles and putting them together into a new paper um, that that I wrote and uh, that feeling that there was there were all these other people out there thinking deep thoughts about things that I found exciting and that I could go somewhere and just discover it was very cool. Well, mostly I use my library today as a portal for scientific research. So I'm researching the neuroscience of games and, and play and so there are so many scientific journals now that are publishing research in this area. There are probably a hundred major studies published every year and I'm fortunate enough to have access as an alumni of UC Berkeley to get to read the journals online. My current project is a game designed to help people tackle their real life health challenges. I had a traumatic brain injury uh, five years ago and I wound up inventing a game to help me heal my brain. And we're right now running clinical trials funded by the NIH to document in a hospital setting that, that this game can actually help folks recover from traumatic brain injury faster and with less pain along the way. It's called Super Better. <laughs>